Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the small rig aluminum vlogging cage and mic adapter holder for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I looked into a number of cages to protect my GoPro, which I just got recently, and I realized that there's a lot of other things we can do with the GoPros because uh, they've got really great 4K video footage, but they don't work quite as well in different environments such as a low light environment or even a really high light environment or something with a lot of contrast in a situation. I thought the idea of making the GoPro a little bit more versatile uh, for different environments for, for shooting video uh, in photos even for that matter. Uh, I was looking into some possible cases. A couple of things that I was interested in was you know adding a microphone, adding a light, adding uh, ND filters. I wanted to protect the lens a little bit. I wanted to just try to um, expand the, the video capabilities as much as possible. This is the small rig box that it came in and uh, it was about $35 on Amazon. It shipped pretty quick to me and uh, let's see how it looks. Isn't that nice? Plastic packaging bag here. Uh, it's got some good weight to it. A nice tool set, I guess, for assembling. This looks like it is the microphone adapter here. really feels uh, very high quality, very sturdy. There's nothing jingling or moving. Um, what you can do is you can push this little button here and that opens up the side cage so you can change your battery out or SD card. Uh, we do have a hole here so you can plug in your USB-C cord to keep your GoPro charged. Uh, we've got a hot shoe, a couple of quarter mounts, of course we have the 52 millimeter filter adapter, a couple more quarter mounts on the side, another hot shoe on top, quarter mount. We've got mounting options all over the place on here, cutouts of course for your buttons on the GoPro. And we can, I think we flip this open and it comes right out. Very nice. Good click. Feels very solid. Let's see how it fits with the GoPro. So in order to do this, I believe we need to remove the uh, battery shield on the back. That pops up.
Nice solid fit in there. Latches right in. And wow, that, that really does feel pretty solid. As you can see, we can pull that battery in and out there. And wow, that clicks right in. So all we do is we just press this button here. Wow. That works really, really nice. How about that? Looks pretty good. We do have the microphone adapter and it looks like that mounts right on the side here. I think that's how most people do it. And of course, I think we can attach that with included hardware here. Yeah, so really, really nice. Feels very sturdy. There's no shake or anything inside. Uh, really like all of these mounting options we have. Good positioning with the buttons, still very accessible. I did pick up a few extra accessories. Uh, the microphone adapter, which we'll use to attach to the add-on adapter. You got a light, a few filters from Amazon. Quick and easy, you know, I think these were $12. And small rig, these are actually the hot shoes. I don't know if I'll actually need them, um, but it is kind of nice to have. I did order a microphone um, attachment on there so we can get some better sound, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to need them. Good to have, nonetheless. Uh, it's about ten dollars for for two of these, and they are small rig branded. Let's test a filter. Very nice. Uh, yeah. How about that? Get yourself a lens cap. Comes with a little ladybug hot shoe attachment. Look at that. Wow. Really has transformed the look of the GoPro into something that looks a lot more professional and sturdy now. This is just fantastic. Exactly what I was looking for. Goes in on and off. Probably get myself a little strap to attach to this so I don't lose it. But that's great. Now let's put this uh, attachment on. It is a little awkward sticking out the side. I'm not sure if this is exactly the way it should be set up. I think my biggest worry is when we're using it, is the GoPro gonna see the lens at all? Uh, it looks pretty good. I think if it came out any further, we would see it, but that's pretty good. I don't actually have my microphone yet, so I can't use it, but let's just test and see how it fits. throw this little guy in here. Does he fit? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a nice fit. Well, that's a little awkward. Hmm, it fits. It 
so you might be wondering can we still get to that battery compartment and I think so you gotta take this out push the button opens right up snaps back in microphone adapters back in I mean it's solid enough feels pretty good let's throw this light on here Really great light. It's got uh, 60 LEDs, a nice soft diffused panel on top here. Uh, but the nice thing is we can change the color and the intensity of the light. Uh, three additional hot shoes there. And we can turn it on, get a nice menu. All right, look at that. Very good. Now, it, it feels a little weighted kind of weird here, but I guess that's to be expected when you're adding all these things on. Okay, so if we wanted to add another hot shoe, like it might be beneficial, you know, if we add one over here. But I don't know if you can see that. It has to sit on the side. I don't think with this lens adapter on, we can fit that hot shoe further forward. That's okay. We do have another one here on the side. Um, oh. That's pretty close. I don't think that's going to fit. I think we'd have to remove this, which we can. It is fully modular in order to get that hot shoe on top. Although we, we've got one here, so it doesn't really matter. I think this side one is, is where it's at. feels pretty strong yeah so now we could put that light on the side if we want to put our microphone on top so we do have a quarter mount here on the bottom with our little finger clips which are nice they, they feel pretty solid <laughs> there's a little a little magnet keeps them from jingling but I don't like this that's nice I like that really well thought out well crafted uh, beats the competitors I was looking into like the GoPro medium hide for that microphone adapter which actually kind of makes sense if you only need a microphone uh, because this adapter is like $50 by itself and that medium mod case, I think it's like $79. Uh, so a case and an adapter for $79, that's not bad. I do really like how strong and the beautiful finish this small rake has on it. Yes, this is a little awkward here on the side. No big deal to me as long as it doesn't interfere with... Uh, you know, the get gets in the shot, and that's fine. And the the modular attachments here, we can add hot shoes just about anywhere. Having this um, tripod mount, that quarter mount there, really is nice. 
this lens does cut into the side here a little bit. No big deal. I think that's that's fine. You can still make that out. Very solid, durable. I just want to protect those lenses. ND filters. Get yourself a lens cap. I think I, I'm going to test it out in the field, but I, I highly recommend it. it. It does add some some considerable weight to the GoPro, but um, man, it really looks good. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, look out for other reviews, other videos. Uh, you can find the link in the product description and uh, feel free to use that on Amazon. I'll try to keep it up to date with the lowest price available. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I can hopefully answer them. So yeah, enjoy. Let me know if you get it and if you run into any issues, I'll be sure to update you also. Goodbye.